Hello, I'm Deborah McGrath, Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at ServiceNow. In this video, I'll show you ServiceNow Application Portfolio Management. It can be challenging to maintain an accurate application portfolio with up-to-date details and to be able to truly understand their usage, cost, redundancies, dependencies, risks, and overall business value. With ServiceNow APM, you can rationalize applications by comparing application functionality and usage, and then choosing the ones that should be the standard. APM helps you reduce application costs by understanding capabilities, eliminating duplicates, and making effective decisions to cut down on budgetary costs. An APM provides ongoing insight and governance over onboarding and decommissioning applications while supporting technology risk management and compliance audits. We'll view the demo from the perspective of an enterprise architect, Able Tutor, to see how ServiceNow APM helps him ensure that his technology systems architecture is in continual alignment with his organization's business priorities. We'll see how APM enables him to evaluate new technology against his existing application portfolio to determine the best business value for his organization so he can be confident that they're investing in the right applications. Logged into ServiceNow as Able, we're viewing the APM homepage. This gives Abel immediate visibility into important details about his portfolio, including his organization's business capabilities, information objects, applications, as well as his hardware and software models. The application portfolio helps Abel track the business applications that enable them to meet the goals of the organization. He clicks on Applications for a list of their current applications with information such as category, manufacturer, type, and usage. Sorting the applications by name, Able drills into the Attendance and Payroll Management System. The application form provides important details such as status, usage, and install type. Scrolling down, he sees additional related lists, including the business and IT application owners, as well as CI scores, related demands and projects, and associated information objects. In preparation for an upcoming compliance audit, he wants to associate employee compensation data with this application and quickly adds the relationship. Able can view related items and potential underlying risks. He can also drill into related CMDB items by reviewing the dependency view. Here, Able can view the business capabilities associated with the attendance and payroll application, associated services, information objects, as well as risks and impacts to any of these configuration items. He can also right-click on any CI for additional drill-down details or load additional dependencies, such as these services dependencies. Across the top of the application form, Able has access to additional application insights, including the application roadmap, highlighting future projects and demands related to this application, which he can quickly sort, for example, by strategy to help him plan for those that are best aligned to their business priorities. Using the application roadmap, Able and the application owners can better understand the investments, timeline, dependencies, costs, and status so that they are aware of all the changes happening over time. Back on the APM homepage, Able selects Landscape to assess his top 10 applications by usage. He'll look at them by application category and stack them, for example, by family, as shown here, where ServiceNow IT Service Management has very high usage. Next, he views the applications grouped by install type and technology stack. He can also track applications by manufacturer and by versions. Next, he selects Analyze to view his applications and their scores by a variety of criteria. He filters the view as desired and can click into a category to see if there's an opportunity to decommission one or more of the applications, such as this duplicate low-scoring legacy customer service application. If so, he simply right-clicks to create a demand to replace or retire the low-value redundant application. Abel and the executive team at his company use the business planning portal to create and view their enterprise strategies, goals, capabilities, and business units, and then track recent activities. Clicking into Strategies presents a drillable list of the details of each strategy, along with strategically aligned projects and demands. Once these entities are defined in the business planning portal, Abel and his team leverage this information for capability-based planning, which enables them to assess their current capabilities and design and deliver effective plans of action to improve capabilities across their enterprise. Abel clicks the hierarchy map, 
where he can view their business capabilities and technology risks and how they are mapped to their investments. The capability mapping lets him see the number of business capabilities and sub-capabilities defined by his organization that have been assessed or are yet to be assessed, and the number of business applications that support those capabilities, including any that are at risk or doing well. He can drill in for details on related people, process, and technology, and view related business applications and services. The information portfolio lets Abel capture information from his organization's assets as information objects. The entities in the information portfolio are either configuration items or columns of tables. They're structurally designed to relate to each other, either by CMDB-CI relationship or by referencing the data columns of tables. Abel connects these information objects to his business applications, as shown earlier in the demo, so that he has a portfolio of low-level application information ready and accessible to use at any time, such as for his upcoming compliance audit. Technology portfolio management enables enterprise architects like Abel to track the versions and life cycles of technologies and to determine which business applications are at risk due to expired or end-of-life technologies. It shows him the versions and life cycles of technologies on an interactive timeline. He can quickly get a count of the number of the models that are at high risk, as well as determine which business applications are at risk due to expired or end-of-life technologies. Expanding the legend shows him life cycle and risk indicators. As necessary, he can also create demands and projects, for example, to request end-of-life support for retiring technology. Finally, from the bottom of the APM homepage, Abel can track new opportunities and solutions, notifications requiring attention, and a helpful list of recent activity on the APM homepage. You just saw how ServiceNow Application Portfolio Management helps you rationalize applications and reduce application costs by understanding capabilities, eliminating duplicates, and making effective decisions, as well as how APM provides ongoing insight and governance over your technology lifecycle while supporting technology risk management and compliance audits. For additional information, visit servicenow.com itbm.